Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in the last few videos I've been talking about wanting to do a Robin and Batman animation, mainly just them talking back and forth. So I'm gonna get started on that process and the first thing I wanna do is take the Batman that I drew for the lip sync video and I'm gonna modify that drawing because currently the way I created it was very quick and I want his eyes on some separate layers and I want his mouth on a separate layer and then I want to extend his body because he kind of cuts off at the neck. And then I'll follow that up with a video on how to create a background with a glowing moon and moving cloud. And we'll do that with Blender Grease Pencil and a node setup. And then I'll also show a video where drawing buildings in perspective and coloring those. Then after that, I'll do the same thing for the Robin video. And then I will put those together and do some lip sync and some interaction between the two in an animation. So hopefully you found this type of content helpful. If so, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you've got any questions or techniques you'd like for me to explore. And let's get started on this one. Here I'm in Grease Pencil and I've appended the new file with the Batman from the lip sync file. And you can see up here to the right that I've got stroke and stroke 0.001. If I turn off this eye icon, you can see 001 is the Batman drawing. So I'm going to click on stroke and hit delete because I don't need that. Then I want to double click into stroke point zero zero one and change that to Batman. So if I click on the grease pencil properties here in the properties window, you can see I have four layers, fills, lines, head, and mouth. Now I know there's nothing on lines and fills, so we can turn those off temporarily. Now I turn off head, you can see that, and then the mouth on a separate layer. So I'll probably keep the mouth layer. I just need a separate layer for eyes and then his head because I'm going to use this head layer as the basis for my new drawing. So I'm going to double click on it and change it to original. And then I'm going to go down here where it says opacity and change that to 0.4. Now I'm going to turn off the mouth layer so I don't need to see that. So I'm going to double click on the lines layer and change it to Batman lines. And then I'll double click on fills and change it to Batman fills. Now with the original layer selected, I'm going to go to the right where these arrows are and click to bring those below it. I'm going to click back on the Batman line, so that'll be the layer I'm using. And it's currently turned off, so let me turn that back on. So I'll go to the toolbar and make sure I have the draw tool selected. I'm actually going to change that to pin. And you can see when I change that, the strength of the pin goes up to 1. And the pressure sensitivity is turned off, which is what I want, because I want it to be a solid black line. If the pressure sensitivity is on and the strength is not all the way to 1, it will be gray and transparent. So if I click on the Materials tab here at the right, you can see my stroke options that I currently have. I want to click the plus icon to add a new one. Then I'll click New down here. And I will double click and call this Inking. And this will have the same settings as a solid stroke. I just want to make sure I named it and had it separate so then I can use this for all of my inking, which will include the buildings in future videos. So stroke is selected, fill is unselected, so that's what I want. And my radius is currently 25. Let me draw a line with that, but that should be fine. Yep, looks good. So I've got the inking material selected, and then I have Batman outlines selected. So I'm going to go back to the original. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to sketch in his shoulders just so it'll be easier for me to create the new version. So I'm just going to roughly do this real quick. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'll go back and choose the Batman lines. And I'm going to create this like I did the Robin drawing. I'm going to overlap a lot of the lines and I'll go back and use the cutter tool and the edit mode to adjust those. So I've got Batman lines selected as my layer. Before I create my first line, I want to go to Stroke. Post processing is on, but I want to select Stabilize Stroke. Currently, it's at radius 40 and 0.9. We'll see how this works. If not, I'll adjust it. Let me undo that. So I don't like that. Let me try the radius at 20. Okay, I think that looks good. I want to shorten that radius a little more to 10. Okay, I think 10 is going to work. So let me do the outline of his face. Okay, 
I now I need these clothes so that I can do the paint tool. So let me just draw a line straight across the bottom here. And I can always delete those lines later after I don't need them. Let me do the ear. And sometimes it's better if you draw a longer line at the intersection point, that way it'll be easier to cut. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm going to go over here to my cutter tool and choose it. And just circle select these. And if it's not cutting right, you can always change your threshold. So you see if I scroll in, I'm still getting some overlap, and I can fix that quickly in edit mode. So I'm going to go to the top and change from draw mode to edit mode. And I will hide the Batman original so I don't have to see those strokes. You can see the line's not overlapping here. So with the select tool, I'm going to select that point. Make sure you're in point mode up here next to edit mode. And I'll hit G to grab it and pull it down. Pull it just a little bit to the right so they overlap. And I'll do the same over here. Left click and drag, then G to grab it. To see how the overall picture is going to look, I'm going to create another layer with this plus symbol here. I'm going to double click and change it to eyes. And with that selected, I'm going to scroll in and draw his eyes. I'm going to use the cutter tool. I turn off the original layer. Okay, I'm going to go to edit mode and clean this up. I'm going to select this eye. I want to drag and then I'll hit R to rotate and bring that over. And we'll bring that around just a little bit. I'm going to hit G to grab it and bring it in. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to turn back on the original. So if I turn back on the mouth, we can see how that looks. So the next thing I do is create a color palette. So with the Batman grease pencil object selected, I'm going to go to edit mode and change that to draw mode. So I'll click on the draw tool. And since I have the draw tool selected, I have access to brush information and color information. But you can see everything's grayed out. That's because I'm currently got material selected. If I select on color attribute, you see I have access to all this now. And as I've said in previous videos, I don't typically use color attribute. I think it's great for, you know, kind of freehand painting. But if I'm doing animation or any type of character work, I really want my colors on their own separate materials. That way, if I want to adjust the colors later, I can. And Color Attribute really doesn't provide that option. So I'm going to switch back to Materials. And I'm going to drag and pull this window down over here on the Materials tab. And I'm going to click and add a new material. And I'll click New. And I'll change this to Batman Blue. And I'll hit again to add another one. And I want to add new and change it to Batman Black. And I plus again and add a new one and change it to Batman Skin. I'm going to plus again, add new, and change this to Batman White. And I'll click one more time and hit new and add Batman Skin Shadow. Okay, there's our five colors for him. I'm just going to click the arrows up here to bring Batman Skin Shadow up to Batman Skin. So there we go, it's underneath it. And I'll click on white and bring it up to black. Now I'm going to go to the Grease Pencil Properties tab in the Properties window. And I'm going to change the opacity of the original layer to 1 so that I can color pick the colors from the original drawing. So now I need to add the colors. So I'm going to click on Batman Blue and I'm going to click Surface to open it. I want to uncheck Stroke and I'm going to check Fill. Then we'll click on the base color here 
and click the color picker. And then I want to pick the blue. You can see that changed it for me. So I can close that out. Now I'm going to pick Batman Black. I'm going to click on Surface. I want to uncheck Stroke and check Fill, and it's already black, so I can leave it that way. I'm going to go to Batman White, click on Surface, undo Stroke, click Fill, click on the black, and I'll slide this bar on the right all the way to the top, so now it's white. Then I'll click Batman Skin, I'm going to uncheck Stroke, check Fill, click on Black, then click on the color picker, pick that color. Then I'll click on Batman Skin Shadow, uncheck Stroke, check Fill, click on the base color, color picker, shadow. So now we have our colors. So I'm going to go back to my Grease Pencil Properties, click on the original again, and change it to 0.4. Okay, now I'm going to fill him in. And I can fill it all in one layer, the Batman Fills layer. Because I'm not going to be animating this or doing anything else with it, it's going to be static. So to those colors created, I'm going to go to my left, I'm going to change from Draw Tool to Fill Tool. Then I'm going to go to the Layers Properties, and Batman Fills was off, so I'm going to click that to turn it back on. Then I want to turn off the original because I don't want the lines and materials of it affecting what I'm doing now. So let me turn that off. So now with Batman Blue selected, I'm going to double click into his outline. Now we got that colored in. I'm going to do the same to his ear. And then I'm going to change to Batman Skin Color and double click on his face. Now I'm going to select Batman Black and double click into the center of him. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the Layers property under Grease Pencil Properties. Click on Eyes. Then I'm going to choose Batman White and click in here to color his eyes. And you can see that after I did that, the whites are overlapping the lines. And that's because I have the lines and the whites on the same layer. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to double click on the Eyes layer and change that to Batman Eyes Lines. I'm going to hit the plus symbol to create a new layer. I'm going to hit Batman Eyes Lines and click this to bring it up to the top. I'm going to double click on the new layer and say Batman Eyes Fills. So now with the Batman Eyes Fills selected and the white material selected, and the Paint Bucket tool selected, I want to fill in the eyes. So now you can see I've got the lines above that. So now I'm going to create another layer by hitting the plus symbol. I'm going to double click on its name and change it to Batman Fills Shadows. Now to follow along with my original, I'm going to click on it and make it visible again by clicking on the eyeball. And then I want to turn off all of my other layers. And then I'll go to Edit Mode. Then I'll Left click and drag to select all of them. Then I'll hit G to grab it and X to constrain the X axis. And then I'm going to move him over. Then I'm going to go back to draw mode. And I'm going to turn my layers back on. And I'm going to click on Batman Original. And I'm going to increase the opacity back to 1 so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to click on the Batman Fill Shadows, and I'm going to go to my Material Properties and make sure I have Black selected. And I'm going to go in here and click on my Draw Tool, and I'm going to color this in. So I can actually use the Paint Tool to color this one ear because it was just solid black. So I'm going to show you now how to use the masks. So I'm going to click on my Draw Tool and make sure Batman Black is selected. And I'm going to hit N on my keyboard to close my menu. I'm going to hit Shift, Middle Mouse Button, Drag to kind of line those up. Now I'm going to take the Draw Tool with Batman Black selected. I'm just going to bring this in. So now with that drawn, I want to go to the Grease Pencil Properties. And with Batman Fills Shadow selected, I want to check the checkbox next to Masks. I'll click on Plus, and I want to use Batman Fills. You can see that cut it out for me based on that. So with the mask option, you can work kind of messy as long as you can cut what you're working on with another layer. So you can see I didn't do a great job of this line next to his eyes. So I'm actually going to go to Sculpt Mode. And I want to use the Smooth tool. And I'm going to go over this to kind of smooth that line out. You can see that look a little straighter. Now I'm going to go back to Draw mode. I'm going to do the outline of his face. 
And I'm going to be messy with this as well because my eyes are on separate layers. So I can just work behind those and they'll be on top of what I'm working on. I think that looks good. And now if I blink his eyes or move his eyes or anything like that, the black will still be behind the eyes, but they're not affecting the eyes. Because if you look at the original drawing on the right, you can see there's some black outlines around the drawings, and that won't work very well if you're moving the eyes or changing the eyes. So I do like the kind of marks between his face and the side of his cowl. So I'm going to go in and put those in real quick. I think that looks good. Now I'm not going to add the blue back above his eyes because that would interfere with the animation if I'm changing his eyes because those blue areas may move, so I'll leave it as is. And actually, I want to bring the black at the front of his mask down a little bit, so let me go to Sculpt Mode. And I'll select the Grab Tool. I'm going to increase the radius by holding down my right bracket button. I'm going to grab this and bring it down. You'll see it's affecting the outline layer as well. So I'm going to go to the layers and lock everything but the shadow. And grab this and pull it down. And I click on the Smooth tool. Kind of go around that edge a little bit. Now I'll go back to Draw Mode. Unlock everything. I already think that looks good too. Okay, before I draw the shadow of his neck, I want to change this a little bit because I want to have the blue up here like it is on the original drawing. So I'll go to edit mode and I want to select everything here. That's going to grab my lines layer if I do that. So I'm going to go back to layers mode and again lock everything but the shadows layer. And I'll we'll left click and drag and hit G, and I'll bring that up to about right there, and I'll scroll in, and that's messy, so I'm going to go to Sculpt Mode, Smooth Tool, and see how quickly that fixed that. So now I'm going to go back to Draw Mode, choose the Draw Tool. Now if I scroll in, you can see I didn't quite get all of that. So I'm going to go to Sculpt Mode, Grab Tool, and just bring that up a little bit. Go back to Draw Mode. I'm actually going to go back to Sculpt Mode with the Smooth Tool and smooth this out a little bit. Scroll back out, go to Draw Mode. So now I'm going to go back and finish the black, and with the mask enabled, I can just kind of draw outside of everything. So I'm going to start here and bring this over. And I'm going to go to Sculpt Mode. Smooth this out a little bit. I'm going to get the Grab Tool. I'll go back to draw mode. I'm not a big fan of the blue around the front bottom, so I'm going to click on the fill tool, double click in here, just cover that up. So you can see it's kind of a little messy right here, so I'm going to go back to the draw tool and just circle this in. Okay, that looks good. So I'll go back to edit mode and I'll lock everything but the lines layer. I'm going to select this part of his neck and I'll hit delete points. I'll go to edit mode. So let me lock everything but that layer. And I'm going to left click and drag. Hit delete points. So I can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so now I'm going to go to draw mode. The draw tool selected. I'm going to draw that back in. Now I'm going to go to sculpt mode. And smooth that back out a little bit. And then go back to draw mode. Okay, I think that looks good. The last thing I need for him is the shadow on his face. So 
gonna unlock these. And we'll go ahead and put the shadow on his face on the fills shadows layer. Even though I'm gonna animate his mouth, I'm not gonna like move his jaw or anything because it'll be just a quick animation. So now I'm gonna scroll in and do the shadow. So I'm actually gonna hit the plus symbol over here and create a new layer. I'll double click on it and name it Skin Shadow. I'm gonna draw this in and then I'm gonna clean it up and then I'll merge it down. Because right now I don't have a way to mask it with his mask because I put everything on one layer. So I'm gonna lock all these other layers. Now with Skin Shadow selected and the Skin Shadow color selected, I'm gonna get the Draw tool and draw this in. That looks good. So I'm going to go to edit mode. And left click and drag. I'm actually going to hit delete on that. So now it's there. So now it's even. I'm going to do the same thing here. Actually, I'm going to left click on this selection tool and I'll select lasso. So with lasso, I'm going to go in and select these points. Hit G to grab them, and we'll bring them up. And we'll select these points. Hit G and bring those up. Do the same for the last section. So I actually have this one that's pointing up. I want to go to Sculpt Mode, hit the Smooth tool, and go across that once, and that smooths it out for me. So I'll go to my layers, unlock everything, see what this looks like. Go to draw mode. I think that looks good. So I'm going to click on the skin shadow layer, click this drop down here, merge down. Now it's merged it to the Batman fill shadow. You can see if I turn that on and off. Okay, I think that gives me what I need. So I'm going to go to the original Batman layer and click the minus symbol to delete it. And then we'll hit save. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a glowing moon out of the grease pencil circle tool. And then I'll show you how to create some moving, more abstract looking shadows in the background. And then I'll add some buildings after that. So stick around and see what that looks like. And I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.